Hi, my name's Mark. This is an updated review on the Tektronix TX3 True RMS Multimeter. I've got some new information and a couple of corrections. And right now I have it hooked up to a precision voltage source uh, parallel with a brand new Fluke 87 Series 5. As you can see, the accuracy is very comparable. Now in Dave's uh, EEV blog number 46, uh, he noticed that there was only uh, the one current input on the, on the Gossen. Uh, the Tektronix is the same way. It only has one current input jack um, right here. Um, that's enabled by these two MOSFETs, uh, which are on all the time uh, to enable the current shunt. Anytime there's batteries in there, even if it's turned off, uh, the current shunts are active. And the one handy feature, uh, the one handy thing I can see about that um, is that you can operate this continuously from the microamp range clear up through uh, 10 amperes uh, without having to change jacks. Uh, that's, uh, I can see where that would be a very handy feature. Uh, right now we are measuring the resistance uh, of the uh, current shunt along with uh, the leads, of course, on, on this Fluke 87 Series 5. Watch what happens when I remove the DC power to the, uh, uh, to the Tektronix TX3. It'll take several seconds, but the uh, resistance here will creep up as the charge bleeds off on those MOSFETs. And those MOSFETs are uh, reverse biased at about 6 volts, and so there's a DC to DC converter in here somewhere, since it only runs on 3 volts batteries power. And there goes our uh, the resistance of our uh, amp shunts. They wind up at about 350K. Okay, and I thought I would try and get an idea uh, just what exactly is going on with this thing when it uh, when you hear that little relay clicking in there and the uh, current drain on the Tektronix uh, spikes up over uh, 100 milliamps briefly. And uh, right now I'm, I have a uh, fluke 87 series 5 in series with the the current of the uh, TX3 in other words uh, we have the uh, ground of the power supply running through the fluke back to the ground of the meter and then the positive of the meter back to the power supply of course and uh, this you'll find interesting this is a waveform of the current drain on that Tektronix TX3 and when you turn it off of course that goes away we turn it back on, and that, that's, that's the waveform of our current drain on the TX3. Now as I switch functions, occasionally you'll see the duty cycle goes way up, and that, that's where our ex, uh, additional current drain uh, uh, arises. See that? When the relay hits, and most especially when it hits the uh, check probe indicator on the, on the screen, see the duty cycle just goes nuts briefly and that's 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 where our current drain goes